so I'm going to talk about the walls in thermodynamics today. So there are two types of wall in thermodynamics. So one is adiabatic wall, adiabatic wall, adiabatic wall. And the second one is uh, diathermal wall, diathermal wall, diathermal wall. So what is adiabatic wall? Uh, adiabatic wall is uh, like the thermoflask. Let's say we have a thermoflask here. Thermoplast. Thermoplast has very thick wall. Thermoplast has very thick wall due to uh, many reflecting sur surfaces here. So this is a thermoplast. Let's say we have hot water here and we close this with the help of some non, uh, some insulating cork here, some insulating cork here. So this is a hot water. So this is thermoplast, thermoplast, thermoplast. And we have hot water inside the thermoplast hot water inside the thermoflask. So these walls, the walls of the thermo, thermoflask and the lid of this thermoflask do not allow this heat to go out. So here is a hot water, the hot water is heat uh, with it. So these walls of this uh, of thermoflask do not allow the heat to go from inside to outside or outside to inside. Meaning that heat cannot come inside this thermoflask through this wall, this doesn't happen. And the heat also cannot go from inside to outside. This also doesn't happen. So heat cannot cannot go into or go out from the system. 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 So this kind of the wall are called the adiabatic wall. So in adiabatic, if the if the uh, wall is adiabatic wall, it doesn't allow heat to go out or it doesn't allow heat to come into the system. So these are walls are called adiabatic wall. So if you have to represent how much heat energy go into the system or out of the system through the adiabatic wall, if you, if you, if you want to represent the heat energy transfer in the, uh, in the system or out of the system, let's say dq, q is the heat energy, small amount of heat energy going out from the system or going into the system through the adiabatic wall is zero. Why zero? Because heat is not going in or it is not going out from this wall. So in this case, uh, dQ is equals to always zero. Now let's talk about the diathermal wall. Let's talk about the diathermal wall. Suppose we have a, a container, it is made up of let's say steel, steel cup. This is a steel cup, steel cup. And let's say we have some hot water here. This is hot water, hot water hot water and we close the lid here. So if it is a hot water, the these walls, the, the wall made up of steel, slowly allows the heat to go out uh, from inside to outside. Or if outside is very, very hot, they allow uh, a heat to go into the system. So this kind of the wall is called a uh, diathermal wall. So in short, in diathermal wall, what happens is Q, DQ cannot be dq cannot be zero meaning that heat some heat is going out some heat is going in so this kind of the wall is called uh, diathermal wall so that's all about thermodynamics wall